Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how to integrate Audacity into Sony Vegas and Sony Movie Studio Platinum 13. It's exactly the same method for both softwares, so just follow these instructions. It really does help. Uh, I should note that I'm using my stock mic at the moment. There is no editing done on it, but I will show you the edited version afterwards. So what we've got to do is we've got to go to Google, obviously, download Audacity which takes a few seconds. We click Audacity, we go to download Audacity 2.1.2 and then we download it for Windows, run it and install it. Once it's installed, on your movie studio or Vegas, go to Options, go to Preferences, go to Audio and here, Preferred Audio Editor, click Browse. Take it to Audacity, which will be on C Program Files 86, Audacity, click the audacity.x and click Open and Apply. Right, once we've done that, we'll right click on our audio track in our timeline. We will go to Open Copy in Audio Editor. And as you can see, it will pop up. Now, there's two ways to highlight this. You can either left click here where the mouse is or you can press Control plus A and that will highlight the entire track. Now, what I tend to do is I go to Effects, I go to Equalizer or Equalization, I've added some bass, some treble, I'm gonna click OK, I'm gonna go to Effects, Limiter, and again, OK, Effects, Compressor, and now watch this, it will bulk it all up, which is what you're going for, uh, Limiter, and that just takes the highs down a bit and now we're done however there is one thing as you can see there's just a little bit of disturbance in these lines and that is noise so I'm gonna hold left mouse drag it across let go of left mouse once we've done this I'm going to effect I'm going to go to noise reduction get noise profile again you can press Control plus A to highlight the old track or just click it in here uh, once I've done that, I'm going to go to Effect again, Noise Reduction, and I'm just going to click OK. And as you can see, that's tidied up this line here very nicely. And we're done. I'm going to go to File. I'm now going to go to Export Audio. I'm going to call it a Test 20. Save. Click OK. And close Audacity. No need to save it. Now, here's the original file, so I'm going to play this back for you now. Okay guys, so this is going to be the file that I edit and show you as an example. And you can see that's pretty poor, like what you're hearing now. And if I go to my music folder where I saved it, I put the exact same file in. Obviously, you know, if there was a game footage or whatever, you'd just move this and you'd replace it and then cut this one out. But let's go to this one now, so just a little bit more of that one. The old one best buy this and you learn a bit from what i'm about to show you okay now we go to the new one okay guys so this is going to be the file that i edit and show you as an example and yeah should be good should work fine and hopefully everything goes fine all right, and I think that's pretty much everything uh, you need to know. As for the audio itself, it's always a good idea to experiment with the trebles and basses. Obviously, what's what I like is not going to be what other people like, so you just got to work on that yourself and, and get the right levels for yourself and your personal preferences. But I hope this video helped you out. I know that adding Audacity helped me out a lot and has improved my videos a lot. But anyway, I'm going to go and i catch you all later. Bye-bye.